guys. It's windy, I'm trying to block the wind, but uh, we're installing a little electric hot water heater kit in the house trailer. The propane one doesn't work anymore, so plus I have a lot of solar on the roof. Look, this is a 200 watt element. And if we go into the trailer, see my little girl is here with me. We got the rest of the kit here. Got the thermostat, controller, the rest of the wiring. We got my hot water tank right here. And we're just getting ready to hook it all up. I'm probably gonna put the thermostat right on the top because then uh, all the heat goes up, get a pretty accurate description from there. The sides are a pain in the butt to work on. And yeah, hopefully this thing doesn't leak. It looks like it's in good shape still, so I think we'll be okay. Yeah, just got, uh, took the file to the corners after I drilled it. Got a bunch of goop there, I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm gonna do, put some more goop around there so a mouse or something can't come in. And yeah, that's it. We're gonna see how this thing works. All right, it's coming along nicely. Got my wiring run behind where the breaker panel is. And I got uh, my thermostat here mounted, and I got it set to about, uh, just shot, so there's 166C or 150 Celsius, is, or Fahrenheit's the maximum, and I got it one notch down. Uh, what else? I think we're getting pretty well there. I think that's pretty much it for the thermostat. We're looking pretty good. So we're just going to hook up the ground, hook up those wires, and this is where I decided to put the switch. Put the switch beside the toilet there. So you're in the bathroom. Usually when you need the hot water. Not always, but that's what I did. Anyways, thanks for watching. Right, we're on our maiden voided voyage uh, test run on this thing. It's a joke how thin this is here. It's literally less than a quarter inch. So I might uh, put a blanket over that or something. We'll see. I just have it uh, extension cord going into the inverter for now. And now we're plugged into this uh, this kilowatt meter, and we're pulling zero zero watts, and we're about to turn this on. So here's my switch. One thing I don't like is that the light's on all the time, and I would like it to only turn on when the the load is on. It's very interesting that it doesn't do that. Okay, so we're pulling. 535 watts at 119 volts. We're gonna leave this for a while. We got 250 watts coming in. The sun is going down, so it's a losing battle. But I'm gonna leave this on for a while. Actually, let's go outside and take a look. Go here. Got my tools and everything. Just got this all wrapped tied for now until I just want to see this work. Because this thing protrudes so far out, I want to make sure that the element's not going to get really hot on the outside or something like that. And it isn't even warm yet, so I think the element is further in. The thing was like nine or eight inches long, so I was hitting actually part of the tank. I, was, I shoved it in so far, so I just pulled it back about a quarter inch, tightened it all up. It comes with all these adapters. I think this kit was like... I don't know, 69 or 79 dollars, something like that. I can feel it getting warm. Well, actually, it's not. It's still colder than my body, but it's not as cold as it was before. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel it actually heating up now. I just want to make sure that that all the heat isn't going to accumulate out here. I don't think so though. It's definitely warming up. Yeah. Seems to be working really good. Okay, anyways, we'll get back to it. Get back to you guys in about half an hour and we will see how warm this water is. So, that's not very long time. Just giving it half an hour, it's a small tank, but still, let's see how she goes. So it's been about 35 minutes and uh, this, uh, the water started out, it came from my 420 foot deep well, and it was extremely cold, so I don't know what it started at, it started really cold anyways, and we were up to, I wouldn't say, it's not warm, 
any means, but it, coming out would be close to lukewarm, maybe a little bit warmer than lukewarm. Definitely wouldn't want to take a shower in it, but the tank is definitely not cold anymore. It's, a, it's about the same as my body temperature. So, maybe a little colder than body temperature. But, uh, yeah, so that's after about 35 minutes. So I'm thinking if this was, if this tank was full of, of say, uh, uh, same temperature as the outdoors, ambient temperature, uh, I think this would be hot enough to shower already, which is pretty cool. But I have this set quite high, as you can see. So we're going to let that climb and uh, see how well it works. I'm going to let it go for at least another half an hour, and then we're going to check it again. So that will be about an hour total of heating time. So that will be about 600 or 535 watt hours worth of electricity. And when we started, I think we are close to 49 volts. I think we're down to 47.2 volts under load. Uh, the reliable inverters fans have turned on twice. This fan's been turning on all day. So this thing's been doing pretty good. I like I do like these eSmart 3s. They seem to be quite a nice uh, charge controller. Come on camera. Whenever I shoot with my cell phone, it never focuses right. Anyways, it's a little bit more testing and then I'll cover all this up and uh, call it good. I think I'm going to take a spray foam gun and spray around here just a little bit to help glue this down because it's just two-sided tape right now and not only that i think i'm going to take some spray foam and spray it around here just ar around anywhere i can and uh, yeah because it's a joke like look how thick that is you see the tank there like it's not even a quarter inch like it's crazy anyways thanks for watching all right one hour later guys the tank itself does not feel all that hot. Like it feels warm, but that's about it. I wonder if it's dual layered or something. I don't know. No idea. But the water coming out, it looks disgusting just because this pail is outside. It was gross. And it's pinkish because I had the antifreeze coming out. But like that's hot. Like say that's at least 110 Fahrenheit, maybe 115. Like, I can't keep my hand under there. Maybe it's more like 120. I don't know. But that's awesome, man. I'm going to be able to take showers in here. It's going to be great. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Good time to put this back together, and hope you enjoyed the video.